Andy Wareham uh, asks, he's got a bit of a twofer here, so he's asking, one, how long does it normally take you to complete a mix that you're happy with? And how often do you find yourself going back and editing? Mm -hmm. And two, um, well, I'll answer that one first, and then we'll go to question number two. So I'm gonna give a bit of a wishy-washy answer and say it depends. Mm -hmm. um, and what it depends on is how good are the tracks I'm getting to mix. Mm -hmm. So if everyone in the recording and producing side of it has done a fantastic mm -hmm. job, mixing should just happen mm -hmm. and it shouldn't take long at all because you're essentially just balancing mm -hmm. stuff that's already there. Mm -hmm. um, it's when you start to move, mm -hmm. when there starts to be more and more problems with mm -hmm. the recorded sound, uh, poorly organized sessions um, or arrangements that kind of don't make musical sense, that's when the time starts to become exponentially longer and longer uh, in terms of being able to complete a mix to my satisfaction. Um, so if tracks arrive, everything sounds fantastic, the song is really well performed and arranged, everything works together musically, uh, there should be very little to do, and we're talking on the order of half a day to, to, to mix a track. But if you have to start diving into the session, um, putting together comp takes yourself, or cleaning up bad edits, like if you then almost have to take a, a post-production role and start running recordings, anemic sounding guitars through a ton of plugins just to get them to sound like as beefy as they should have been, or the vocal has all kinds of weird resonances, or if, if they've simply punted a lot of decisions off to the mixer. Um, like if you get a track with a ton of DI guitars and it's up to you to choose an amp sound, reamp it, uh, essentially like finish producing the song, and yeah, it just stands to reason that it's going to take a whole lot longer. So to answer the question succinctly is kind of impossible. It depends on the state of the tracks that arrive on my doorstep. So question number two from Andy is, I also wondered if you had any books, guides that you could recommend for improving your mixing technique and understanding. So yes, I do. Um, YouTube can be a pretty good resource uh, because there's just so much content on there, but that's also its downside. Um, it can be a very treacherous slog through the valley of misinformation, uh, but I do find not so much regarding mixing, but recording techniques, um, Creative Sound Labs is a, a cool channel to check out. They have a lot of kind of unusual or left of center uh, recording techniques that he explores. But what's great is uh, Ryan, the guy who runs it, does a really good job of recording everything. So it's not just the explanations, it's not just being exposed to the techniques, it's the fact that you can hear in good quality what they sound like. And ultimately that's where you're gonna learn the most from is just listening to things, you know, developing a library of sort of internal sounds that you can reference when you need to. So moving on from that, there's a, a podcast that I really like called the UBK Happy Fun Time Hour. Uh, they have about, I think, 180 episodes at this point that are freely downloadable from their website, uh, ubkhappyfuntimehour.com. It's easy to remember, difficult to type. And uh, there's a lot of really, really good information there. It's you know hard to point you to any specific thing, but uh, both the hosts, Greg Scott and Nathan Daniel, um, have both a lot of experience in professional audio. Um, Greg Scott runs Kush Audio, who do uh, fantastic hardware and fantastic software. And I found that the answers to questions there are just far more honest. And then as far as books go, 
Uh, there's not a whole lot out there, but there is one in particular that I absolutely love. Uh, kind of like what I mentioned about UBK, where this guy sort of gets at the philosophy and the underlying reasons for the techniques. Um, I got it right here. It's called Mixing with Impact by Wessel Olthaten or Vessel Olthaten. Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce that correctly. It is a fantastic resource. He's not just a great mix engineer, but he's also a great educator, which I find makes all the difference. How you write things, how you present the information. Um, he does a, a fantastic job of it. So I highly recommend that book. Hey everyone, I'm Al Eastler, Senior Audio Engineer here at Lander. If you like this video or any of the other videos on this channel, consider liking and subscribing. If you need help with your mix, leave a question or comment below and either myself or one of our other audio engineers will answer it. Thanks for watching.